So my patient was concerned that her mom had shrunken. She expressed to me, she's like, you know, my mom's always been five foot nine and now she's like five foot seven. So although this is still tall for most people, um, like people like myself who are vertically challenged can still empathize with her concerns. So my name is Dr. Arinola Dada. I'm a rheumatologist and I help people with joint pain become pain free so that they can live active lives. So why is her mother shrinking? And her other concern is what she next, right? So answer is that it depends. So there are three reasons why her mom did shrink. One is that there's a curvature, there's like there's possibly a curvature to the spine known as scoliosis, which tends to progress over time. Um, she can certainly slow this down by having strengthening exercises of her core, which to some extent will minimize the rate of progression. The second reason why her mom could have uh, shrunken is because she may have degeneration in her discs. So if you imagine the spine, you have vertebrae disc, vertebrae disc, right? And so the discs are like cushions. Um, one analogy is to think about them as a tire and then brick and then tire and then brick, that kind of picture. Um, or one of my favorite is to think about it as a donut, donut. Um, vertebrae, donut vertebrae. And so when your tire flattens with wear and tear or the donut becomes a pancake with wear and tear, you can see how um, over time, you know, at, at different levels, this can cause her mother to shrink. And then finally, and very concerning, is the possibility that her mother had a compression fracture, right? And the compression fracture is when the vertebrae, so we talked about the discs, there's also the vertebrae. When the vertebrae gets compressed, Right. So when the vertebrae gets compressed or fractures, right, that and if that happens in multiple areas, then that could be a reason why her mother shrunk. Right. So I did ask a few questions like, well, does she have back pain? The answer was yes. And was there any recent history of fall? Um, um, the daughter says yes, there was a mild fall. So with the mild fall, my concern is that her mother probably has osteoporosis. But of course, I'm not her doctor. So I said, hey, have your mother see her primary care doctor, let them get x-rays, let them get a bone density test. Then I have to kind of change my focus to the patient in front of me. I said, well, if your mother has what we think is osteoporosis and a vertebral fracture, your mother's primary risk is that she's at risk for another vertebral fracture. That's the number one problem that she's at risk for. So it's actually, it's a risk against time. Then for my patient, if her mother has osteoporosis, then she is at risk for osteoporosis, right? So what we decided to do was one, I advise she gets a bone density test, but other things that she could do to improve her bone density. One, start working 30 minutes a day. Two, ensure adequate calcium intake. Women over 50 should be taking at least 1,000 milligrams of calcium, which can be from diet or from supplements. Three, strengthening exercises. Although strengthening exercises specifically don't necessarily improve bone density directly, they do minimize the risk of falls and increase muscle mass and increase stability, right? And then four, making sure that one has adequate vitamin D intake. So my name is Dr. Arinola Dada, and I live, I'm in the greater Seattle area. Contact us if you feel that you need any of our services at overlakearthritis.com. If you or anyone that you know would benefit from this video, please like it, share it, 